Dustin Fletcher waits for the snap. Puts a man in motion, and of course, Citadel with that option, a handoff straight ahead, and down he goes for a short game there for South Carolina State. And you can see in careers like this, you know, you have some ups and downs. Johnny Crawford the third is your running back right beside Fletcher. He's, no, it's going to be a keeper for Fletcher and some room at the 30. And knocked out of bounds there at the 35-yard line. And he puts a man in motion. Going to hand it off to Crawford. He's hitting the backfield. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a hit. That was out to punt is going to be James Plate. Boots this one. Taken at the 25, still on his feet. Breaks a tackle, coming near side at the 30, 35. And out of bounds there, and that's down. So here is Fletcher on the option. Nowhere to pitch it to, and he's going to be drug down. Oh, and there's one of our cricket impact players. So here is Fletcher once again, going to hand it off to Cooper Wallace, and he gets hit hard. It is a positive game, though, far side of the field on a Three down lineman, but they're showing an edge rusher. Fletcher, back to pass, going to be a little screen pattern, and he's brought down immediately. South Carolina State not fooled at all on that offensive possession at 10-15 remaining in this first quarter. And not much doing there on the first play. Starting things out at quarterback will be Corey Fields, the graduate. Corey out of the shotgun. Going to be a second down and nine off the short one-yard gain. And here's a little flip pass to the back and a nice gain on second down. Seeing what he can do with the football. New set of downs for the South Carolina State Bulldogs. Play action fake. Fields looking. Going to throw this over the middle and that is caught by the receiver. Looks to be good enough for a first down. It's in Haygood Stadium where Citadel plays. And here's the handoff far side. I think that's Howell once again for a positive gain as to play here in the first quarter. South Carolina State on the move. They got it up close to midfield. I think that's Howell again gets it to the 50. So third down and three yards to go. Ball at midfield. Going to be a swing out pass. That's Howell again. And it looks like he just got the first down inside Citadel territory at the 45. Citadel would like to change. They do not want their defensive backs to be their leading tacklers. Here is Corey Fields, and a nice run for him out of the option. We don't see that often from Corey. 30 out of Williston, South Carolina. Coaches were gleaming about him. Pump fake, Corey Fields gonna bomb this one deep down the near side. Oh, what a catch, and that's a touchdown! South Carolina State, what? Seven to nothing. Bulldogs on top of Citadel on the MEAC Digital Network on ESPN+. Four down linemen for South Carolina State. Citadel with their second offensive possession. A little play action fake there for Fletcher. Going to throw over the middle, and that is incomplete. And, boy, he had a man streaking. Puts a man in motion. That's Cooper. And he's going to get the handoff here. And got a little running room, but closed up quickly and brought down by Aaron Smith at the 30. He's might have called an audible there. Still looking across the defense. Bulldogs loading the box here, and they're coming. Oh, and a hard hit and a one-handed grab for the receiver of the Citadel as he brought down at the 45. And there he is, Jay Graves. He took a hit. So here's the handoff to Cooper off tackle, right side. And it's a short gain, one big target for Citadel. Back to pass is Dustin Fletcher looking, and now he's going to run. Going to throw this one, and it's knocked down. Not trying to spread it out a little more, going from the option look. Fletcher back to pass, good protection, throws far side, and it's incomplete. Citadel will come out. They're making tackles 10, 15 yards downfield. <laughs> Two receivers to the near side, one of the far side. South Carolina State scored on their last drive. Here they are again, going to bomb it deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. And there's a late flag. This could be pass or Pool every time is going to get called. Might have saved the touchdown there, actually. There's a handoff near side, and he's brought down just shy of the 50, and that's a young man I'm excited to talk. Yeah, he's a true freshman. And here is Corey Fields with a lot of real estate at the 30, 25, 20, and knocked out of bounds at the 15. 
I don't know if Corey Fields is heading right. Fields in the backfield. Going to be handoff near side. Casey bobbing and weaving down inside the 10 to the 8. There are 90 seconds to play in this first quarter. Get a good look at Corey there on the snap. Handoff near side. That's Casey Fields powering his way inside the 5. Going to be down. Sets up a first and goal. Here's a handoff to Casey again. Powers his way down to the goal line. No signal from the official. Looks like he's right there at the 1. Fields and Fields are in the backfield. Corey and Casey gonna hand it off to Casey. Tries to get across the pylon. Does he get there? Oh my, Citadel standing up on that defensive front. Josh Shaw in the backfield for South Carolina State. So is Corey Fields at quarterback. And they give it to him on the goal line. No signal from the official. Oh man, I think. Still going backwards. Fourth and goal. And they're gonna be stopped. Citadel stops him. Citadel makes the stop turnover on downs. Well, we talked about momentum. Michael McDowell in on that stop. So now you're in the shadow of your own end zone. Citadel's just trying to get some room for their offense. As they out of the shotgun snap, puts a man in motion. Kind of a pistol look formation. They hand it off to the back, and down he goes quickly. Not uh, once you get past Virginia, they don't have a clue. <laughs> Third down at six. Here's a pass, and that was batted at the line. This in Greece. Oh, man. And we have my very dear friend Chip Galloway watching us in Lugolf. Eric Jones, a SC State alum, and Chip Galloway, a Citadel alum, down there in the Midlands. And there's a nice return for South Carolina State. They bring it to the 45-yard line. Turnover on downs, but then they had to kick it away at their own three-yard line. SC State has it back. Here's the handoff near side. Here's a big run at the 35-30. Powers his way for a first down run. Too far down the road from here. Three receivers. Corey Fields back to pass. Going to throw this one deep. Got a man far side. That's intercepted. Intercepted by the Citadel. Streaking down the far sideline. Here he comes at the 40. At the 50. Still on his feet. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside South Carolina State territory. Oh, what a grab. Melvin, but Ravenel jumped the route. Let's take a look at the cricket replay. What do you see here, coach? It looked like South Carolina State went to the wheel route there. And great play. Um, you can see the long range of defensive back there that was able to just go up and get that ball and make a play defensively. I, I think Citadel might have left the offense in Charleston, but they brought their defense. Def <laughs> so here we go. They spot the football inside the 35. Dustin Fletcher going to roll to his right. Now he's going to keep it, and he's forced out of bounds, just shy of the 30. Shotgun for the Citadel. Here's the pitch near side, going to be brought down there. Good assignment defense here by the South Carolina State Bull. SC State looks like they're showing pressure. Now they put a receiver in the slot. And it's going to be a run for Fletcher right up the gut, and a good run as he picks up the first down. Just shy of the 20 yard line. Fletcher Citadel is on the move. It's going to be a handoff. That's Crawford and a nice run up the middle as he gets it just shy of the 10. And looks to be that pistol look. Crawford in the backfield puts a man in motion. Crawford's going to get it off tackle. Bounces off a defender before he's brought down inside the 10. Three remains. And South Carolina State. A couple of transfers, a couple of new faces. This season, here is a pitch, far side. What a throw, did he bring that in? And they're gonna say he was out of bounds. Oh, without scoring a touchdown. First down is at the two. Oh, and a broken play in the backfield. South Carolina State sniffs it out. Right. He hit a 49 yarder last week. Spot kick, and that is good. Gets a mulligan and knocks it through. 7-3, South Carolina State still leads this. Something to get some momentum going here soon. 7-18 remains. Here is Jawarn Howe breaking free out across the 30-yard line. That is a first down. And check that. He picks up a new set of downs for the Bulldogs. Shaw's going to get it again off tackle, and he's hit hard in the backfield there. Three receivers. Pick that Shaw still in the backfield. 
Fields gonna throw, evades the rush, still on his feet, here he goes at the 35 and he's tripped up at the 39. Corey State. Look at this front for Citadel. Here they come. Corey, back to pass, good pocket, throws over the middle, that's caught by his intended receiver and he gets it just inside Citadel territory at four wideouts. Corey Fields gonna be a delayed handoff here to the back. I think that's Casey Fields. No, that's still Shaw. He's brought down at the 45, but they're showing pressure. Corey going to hand it off to Shaw once again. Good blocking, but it's closed up quickly. South Carolina State just kind of making a good push. So fourth down and short. South Carolina State going for it. Fields under center, and he's just going to lunge forward for the first down, and he got it. I'll tell you what, that, when you're a shotgun team, that's some... And it's going to be Jawarren Howell taking it far side, cuts it inside before he's brought down at the 38. Ooh. Two receivers left, one right. Play action fake, Corey Fields looking deep, going to throw this, got a man and it's incomplete. Oh, just overshot him. Trying to see who the intended receiver was streaking down. Ball at the Citadel 39. Corey looks right, now he looks left. Rolling to his left, throws, and did he catch it? Oh, they're going to say he brought it in. <laughs> oh, wow. Five ticks left. Corey Fields, back to pass, looking for Hal. Pump fakes, throws over the middle, got his man at the 10, at the 5, still on his feet, lunges forward for the end zone. That is going to be a touchdown, South Carolina State. 14-3, to Keyshawn Tony. Wide open, hops in. Still on the board. They do have a kicker who can get 50 plus. So may only need 25 yards or so. Maybe a little more than that. There's a little pitch and catch far side of the field. And that's a good way to start. Going four wide, here's a throw and oh, was that intercepted far side? I think he was able to hang on to that. They're fighting for it. Did you See a great shot by our camera crew. Ball away. Let's take a look at this. Comes down. Mm, it's, a, it's a reverse to first down, South Carolina State. And it is an interception to South Carolina State. And that's a turnover. That's a turnover. Get up there in Roebuck. So Corey Fields gonna throw it here, back to pass, throws this one deep downfield, got a man that is caught at the 20, 15, brought down at the five yard line. The ball squirts out though, ball squirts out in the end zone, they're gonna say he's down. They're gonna say he's down, the clock is stopped with 14 seconds. Oh, that was here, gotta be quick. It's a man in motion, Corey gonna throw, rolls to his right, caught by the receiver, but he's brought down and tackled for no gain on the play. That was Jordan Smith. SC State trying to punch it in. Oh, it's gonna be a little reverse pass. Throws at the goal line. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna get it. It's gonna be at the one, and I think that's gonna send us to half your QB to start this third quarter. Three receivers, four down linemen. Gonna be a handoff, that's Casey Fields, far side. Finds a crease. That across the 30 yard line. Four receivers, bunch tight. Second down and short. Little swing out pass to the back. And oh, that was a collision <laughs> on I-26. Three receivers. Fields looks across the defense. Drops back, good protection. Now he's being chased. Gonna roll this out to Howell. He's upended just shy of the 40. Just getting Corey to kind of settle down and getting his zone, getting his rhythm as here's a handoff to Hal far side. Still on his feet inside Citadel territory at the 49 yard line. That is a nice run by Howell. SC State has done it through the air and on the ground on this drive. Fields back to pass, good pocket. Throws over the middle that's caught by Bailey for a first down catch. Oh, Bailey got crunched in between. It's been a very methodical, well-called drive here by the SC State coaching staff. Hand off straight ahead. That's Casey Fields up the gut. What a hole made by that offensive front. Nick Tasty and Shark. Eric Brown Jr. Three receivers. Play action fake. 
Fields back to pass. Gonna throw deep downfield and it's incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Corey Fields with three receivers. And here's the handoff. That's Casey Fields makes a shifty move. Picks up the first down at the 25. And then Casey Fields has a little game for the Bulldogs. Three receivers. And here's the handoff off tackle, and he gets brought down, and a flag comes in behind the line of scrimmage. Could be in the area of holding here. First and 20. Play action fake, Fields looking left, going to throw left down the near side. Oh, what a catch! And it's a touchdown, South Carolina State! Oh, another Sports Center top 10 grab. Look at this one to see if it was indeed a touchdown. So hold everything. Down the near side, got one foot. That's four receivers. Citadel down 21 to three. Handoff far side. And you know, this is one thing that you have a second and manageable situation. Five yards to go. And the option here, this is Cooper Wallace off tackle. Not much doing there. Guys. So here's a little handoff near side for the center of the back. Not much doing there, but it is in Orangeburg. James Platt to kick it away. Oh, it's going to be a fake. And not going to get it. Not going to get it. Bulldogs deny him. Turnover on downs. I want to give credit to Jared Kirksey. The defensive lineman who denied the fake punt for the Citadel. And here's a, a nice little run here to get things started on this. South Carolina State denied a fake punt. And they've got it in Citadel territory. Wide open receiver caught inside the 10. That's Tyler. So out of the shotgun, Corey Fields gonna roll to his right, looking, gonna fire this one far side, and it's incomplete. Overshot is intended receiver. It's the defense. Citadel showing pressure here. And it's gonna be a delayed handoff inside the 10, down the near side, and he's hit hard. That's Shaw on the carry. Three receivers right, put one in motion. Field's gonna roll to his right, looking. Now he's gonna keep it himself. Oh, what a somersault upended, out of bounds. Oh, he gets up, he's okay. But Mike on the far hash. High snap, spot, kick, and that is good for Gavin Zimmerman. Makes it 20. Keith Jones was a defensive back coach for coach, uh, probably in the 12, 13 years. So here's a throw over the middle, and that is caught by the intended receiver up to the 45-yard line. And that's been good-looking wide out. New set it down. Citadel going no huddle. They hand it off far side for a short gainer there. Citadel knows they need to move the ball and in a hurry. South Carolina State can have them drive long drives, and South Carolina State wins. So roll to the right, throws, and that is caught by the receiver close to the first down inside SC's Mason look here. And it's going to be a keeper for the QB, and he's going to be brought down just shy of the 40. And this is going to be a new quarterback, Grayson Underwood. We knew behind some really good quarterbacks. And there's a throw and incompletion there, stops the clock. But I talked to some media members on the way here because the name sounded familiar. I covered high school, eight years, something like that. Back to pass is Underwood, throws far side. And he's gonna be brought down after a first down pitch and catch. And once again, that Just, it makes you shake your head. So it's gonna be a throw near side, that's incomplete. Stay consider keep this thing going. I think this mm -hmm. is great for South Carolina. Great for the state of South Carolina for both institutions. Here is Underwood. Flag is down. He's going to be well shy of the first down. Curious what they threw this flag under a minute. Back to passes. Underwood going to throw this one deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Brings up fourth down. And oh boy. Put your system in place. Uh, get some of your guys in there and, and, and to see what happens. But I think he's going to be fine. Just because uh, I'm looking at his team. To they will start conference play. 
You are correct. So SC State with the football. It is still going to be Fields, and it's a little reverse here and a lot of room to run at the 30. 40 brought down across the 45 yard line. Oh, what a nice run for Jordan Smith. Dangerous. Three receivers. Blank should fake. Fields going to throw near side. That's Keyshawn Tony at the 40. 35. Stiff arm still on his feet. Finally brought down. Well, now they blow the whistle as they bring him out of bounds. And some. Just getting started here in the fourth quarter. SC State is on the move, trying to put this game on ice. Casey Fields, short gain there. I think we'll see some new people. So out of the shotgun, four wideouts. Corey Fields, going to swing it out. That's Howell, and he's upended. Ball comes loose. Howell goes to pick it up. And what's the call here as they scramble for it? I think they call him down. Yeah, I think so too. Four wideouts. Back to pass is Fields. Good protection here. Going to throw this over the middle. That's Keyshawn, and it squirts out. It squirts out. Had it in his hands. And I'm sure. All right, they're going to go for it here. Fourth and 12. Citadel drops back in coverage, and it's going to be a screen pass. Tyler Smith has it at the 20. At the 15, still on his feet at the 10. Five, and he's tripped up. A touchdown saving tackle. First and goal for the Bulldogs. Grab Tyler Smith. All right, first and goal. Ball at the two. Hand off to Tyler Smith to try to finish it off. That line pushes him through. Touchdown, South Carolina State. There is your dagger. Tyler Smith had a gaff. I think Fletcher's your future, though. He showed a lot of flashes of what he can do. As Underwood's going to throw here deep down the middle, and it's incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Three receivers, Underwood with a play action fake, gonna roll to his right, throws, and that is caught by the receiver, and he's gonna be cut down. Looks like he just... Give everybody an opportunity to get better. Oh, Underwood dropped the football, picks it up though. Now he's gonna be on the run, and he's brought down. And that was a great play on the D line. Made. So, oh no, fumbled the football, and they pile on it. See who got it, there's still a scrum for it. See who got the football. They have to practice a lot of things. That was a great look on the cricket replay. Underwood now. And here is Owens again off the screen. And he gets it inside South Carolina State territory. That was a and I saw the running back, Cooper Wallace, one of our cricket impact players, making some blocks. Underwood going to throw far side. Got his man. Forces him out of bounds. That is Tyler Chair. The Citadel team has got some really good talent. Underwood back to pass, throws near side, and it's incomplete. Yeah, and, and you just have to be patient, you know, and I still enjoyed it. Get an Oscar to my guy, Robert Downey. Underwood back to pass, throws near side, and I don't think he corralled that football. I think he dropped it. Yeah, that's going to be incomplete. An SC State holder will Citadel continue this drive. Underwood back to pass. Going to throw near side, and that is incomplete. And that's a turnover on downs. And another stop for the South Carolina State defense. You know, four 200 pounds. A lot of poise for Andre Washington. Handoff straight ahead. Not much doing there. And I think about with uh, Corey pretty good. Oh, no doubt. A very talented quarterback room. Three receivers handoff off tackle and kind of dives in for a short gainer there. This will bring up third down and we'll call it four receivers. Andre Washington back to pass. Third down and long. Throws and that is caught. <laughs> and guess who? I think that's Hezekiah Massey, was it not? Yes, it was. Massey on the great guy. And his son made a big play there for SC State. And here is Andre Washington with an option keep to the 30 yard line. That should be enough for a first down on first and 10. Two receivers on the near side, one on the far side. Andre Washington, your quarterback. And he's going to keep it on the option. Picks up the first down just inside the 30, but a flag is down. Shotgun, three wideouts. Andre Washington stands at the 20. It's going to be an option. Going to keep it himself here, and he's hit hard just shy of the 10. It is a positive gain, far side. 
happens at the right time, you still got a chance to have a pretty good season. Second down and seven. And trying to stay on his feet in the back. That's Shaw, and he's going to be brought down deep in the backfield. Oh, boy, and give credit on the third down and 13. Washington takes the low snap, going to throw this one, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by the Citadel down the near side. And he's brought down across the 15, and oh, my goodness, four flags thrown. Oh, boy, a new set of downs for the Citadel as they get the interception. 321 remaining in the game. First and 10. Citadel with a little flat pass to the back, and oh, boy, he got moving inside South Carolina State territory. Nice pitch and catch there for the Citadel. How about that? Oh, no Bud Pugh. Bud Pugh. How about that story? Oh, wild play here as the ball is loose. It was a... Knockdown throw, I think. I'm so roll to his right, throws, and that is caught down the near side. That's going to be a touchdown for the Citadel. And that is our oh my, yeah, that's him. That's our cricket impact. And 2 11 remaining here in the ball game on the MEAC Digital Network on ESPN Plus for the Citadel. Scored with Cooper Wallace. Andre Washington going to hand this one off. Curious if Citadel starts to take some timeouts here or if they let this roll. Yeah, I think at this point. Logs is trying to run this one out. And this is Andre Washington right up the middle. Picks up the first down, and that should just about do it. If Coach Murray Drayton does not want to stop this clock, which it appears he does not. Best formation. Best play in all of football. <laughs> Andre Washington gets to take the knee. And one more will do it here under the lights in Orangeburg in the 